Good morning everybody. I'm in the Fairy Forest in Bellingham, Massachusetts. Today I'm doing Wildflower 101 Episode 6. Today's wildflower is Canada Mayflower. Nicknames are Wild Lily of the Valley, False Lily of the Valley, Canadian Lily of the Valley, or Two-Leaved Solomon Seal. Canada Mayflower is in the lily family. It is a perennial and it is herbaceous. Canada Mayflower leaves are the first green that I see in the springtime. It's such a welcome sight after a long winter. When I look across the forest floor, you see tons of these beautiful green leaves. To me, it looks like the carpet of the forest. Canada Mayflower is a spring flower. It blooms from May to June. It is a small woodland plant. Flowers are white and they are spike-like with small clusters of 12 to 25 starry shapes. The stamens project out like points of stars. The fruit of the Canada Mayflower is a speckled red berry. Here you can see the leaves of the Canada Mayflower. This is what I'm talking about, how it looks like the carpet of the woodlands. The leaves are green, smooth, hairless, and tired, and they are alternate on the stem. The plant grows about two to six inches. It has a small stem that is smooth. They grow from branching rhizome. Here you can see that the end of the leaf is sort of cleft and it's connected to the stem. In this section right here, there is just one leaf on the stem. As you can see, there's no flowers here. So these are sterile plants. When you find two to three leaves, they are fertile. The leaves can be two to four inches long and one to two inches wide, and they usually have a pointed tip. So this is a fertile plant. There's two leaves on it, and this one does have a flower. So the leaves can be egg-shaped or heart-shaped, but they definitely always have that point on them. Canada Mayflower's habitat are woodlands and forests, and they are very common and they grow in colonies. So they love the forest soil with all the decomposing matter. They also like clay, loam, and sand. Canada Mayflower also likes moist but well-drained soil. I love how these are coming out from underneath this old log. So Canada Mayflower is native to New England. This little flower attracts pollinators such as solitary bees, bee flies, and hoverflies. I hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy this lovely flower from May until June. It's such a cute little flower. I'm always so happy to see it. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.